it's great to have Matt here, and we do appreciate you taking the time to come. We've had a number of parliamentarians who popped in through the day, and Deborah mm -hmm. and Neil actually launch, help right. us launch this, which is great. Um, and, uh, you know, we've had uh, Peter Dutton pop in, the health minister, which is really kind of him. And we do appreciate your time, and, and uh, I think we should hear from Matt, so over to you. Thank you. Well, th thank you, Warwick. I'm really pleased to be here. I apologise for being a little bit late. Uh, we've had a busy schedule in the chamber this afternoon. I've just come from uh, my chamber duty. Uh, but really wanted to congratulate uh, the Foundation for your wonderful work in promoting the role of men within families and men's health, uh, not only throughout Australia, but in communities as well. Um, and it's wonderful to see this organisation growing. Uh, I know there's some members uh, who work hard for this organisation and all that it stands for in my community and uh, I'm pleased to see Simon here and uh, thanks for the invitation Thank you for coming. Uh, and for informing me of this. Uh, I'm really uh, looking forward to continuing to work with this organisation to hear about uh, more of your, your endeavours uh, and the great work that you're promoting within the community and I give you this pledge, anything that I can do to assist and help in my community or to raise awareness more generally in uh, in the parliament and throughout Australia, I'm uh, more than pleased to help out. So thank you for having me. Uh, keep up the great work, and let's hope that uh, we see you more down here in uh, in Canberra, promoting the great work of your organisation. Thank you. Thank you for coming along. Um, yeah, I was involved in in the group that was dealing with um, the issue of men's health, um, and I guess we want to congratulate. Uh, the Labor Party for introducing the first ma male health policy in, in Australia's history uh, and, and the, the only the second in the world and uh, so uh, our concern is that that policy continue under the new government um, and with, with funding attached and doesn't sort of get shelved uh, until, until you guys are back in power. <laughs> um, the other uh, point that we uh, came up with was because men's health, so many of the factors that impact on the health of men and boys are outside of the traditional silo of health. So whether it's the poor performance of boys in school or um, uh, the lack of, trend, of, of uh, formalised rites of passage from boyhood to manhood, which means that boys more likely to take drugs and die on the roads and do all that risk taking stuff through to the impact of um, uh, family law process and child support agency on separated dads. And these are all things that um, have profound impacts on the health and wellbeing of men but they're not in that solo of health so the other idea we had was if there was some sort of ministry or department or something which it, which, which, which would run in parallel to um, the Ministry for Women, that would, whether it's a Ministry for Men or for Fatherhood or something like that, which could pull those diverse elements together, um, it would be really um, something that would enrich the, the health and wellbeing of men and boys in this country. So, thank you. It's not just about me as a, as a man, that my experience, it, it's really not, not, not at all about that. It's about what's best for the community, a part, a part of which obviously you're, you're in. And I think in terms of what, what we'd like to see, it's genuine leadership from not only being able to deliver something that will um, provide votes, but is also something that will genuinely deliver the best benefits for the communities. And for me, um, there's a number of areas where there's, there are dramatic issues that need to be addressed and we've, we've already discussed about an inquiry into the Child Support Agency and the Family Law uh, Act, um, but also just generally um, as, a, as a politician and, and as a leader that, that uh, we ask that you can provide that genuine leadership to not only support issues which are extremely bad but potentially a minority, but also just look to apply uh, the laws and, and the rules in a way that um, provide genuine support to the area that we need it and I think we can say we, we wouldn't be here today if we didn't see feel that men uh, dads and children needed that support um, because I think there are a number of areas where we do so if my plea to government is they can provide that genuine leadership for not only doing things that, that are guaranteed votes but also just doing the right thing for the wider communities 
then we'll, we'll be in a better position. Our group discussed that we, we really want to see fatherhood celebrated in Australia. The role of fatherhood is something that's lifted up, it's championed throughout the nation, including Parliament, and that we really promote fathers and their active role that they should be taking and need to be taking in their children's lives and development. And we also discussed, or started to discuss, our whole education system and that as a nation we should be brave enough to be prepared to rethink how we do education and ask the hard questions, do we cater well enough for our boys in the way that we set up, have, have an established institution? Um, just because it's the way we've done it for so long, does that mean we have to keep doing that for another 100 years? If boys are falling behind significantly academically, what can we do to address that? What, what changes can we make to really engage boys in their learning styles, their learning capability, um, in a way that really complements boys and girls learning alongside each other? So let's be brave enough and to have the conversations, look at some of the global research that's taken place, which is very confronting and absolutely awesome. And uh, let's look at that and get some really solid conversations going about shaping the future of Australia because of the way we reinvent education. Yeah, thanks, Mel. Well done.